time now to check out your forecast once again and see. Uh, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Candy. That's right, but tomorrow is going to be really, really nice, Tammy. We are looking at temperatures in the low 70s, so it's going to feel like spring out there. So I hope you take advantage and go for a walk if you can. So here's a live look of downtown Bakersfield, and today was also a beautiful day. We were in the low 60s, but again, above average, 60 degrees right now. Humidity is at 64%, and winds are pretty calm. In our high for today, as you can see, was 66 degrees. We should be around 63, and the record is 79, set back in 2016. And the reason why we are Warming up is this right here. We have a, a high a system, a high pressure system that is going to dominate over the next day or so. That is going to keep us dry and even warmer as we head into Friday. But then by Saturday, the system is going to break down and that is going to allow for a weak area of low pressure to begin diving into Central California as we head into Saturday. It's not going to be a big rainmaker, but it's going to bring uh, colder air into the region, which means that we'll see well light showers and also we're expecting snow in the higher elevations. And that's another thing that we're watching very closely. Here's a look at the future cast model. You can see by tomorrow we we're going to see some increasing clouds. And then Saturday morning, you look at this, by the 2.30 a.m. on Saturday, we're going to see slight scattered showers across the area. And then we clear out. It looks like we're going to be on and off throughout the day, but it's not going to be a lot. So once again, we are expecting maybe if we're lucky, 300 of an inch of rain for Bakersfield. And it's going to be a little bit higher in the mountains. You can see Pine Mountain Club could see upwards of a quarter of an inch of rain. So. Now, what we're watching really closely are the snow levels that could drop to 4,000 feet, which means that the grapevine could be impacted 58. So once again, we're cutting it very close. We'll keep you updated as we head into the weekend. But so here's what to expect tonight. We do have a fog advisory in place. North of Acre still impacting areas like Wasco, Delano. So once again, if you um, live in those areas or you're planning on driving there, just make sure that you're careful as visibility uh, will be impacted. But everyone else looks to be pretty clear for tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to see a very nice day. Upper 60s and uh, 62 in Sacramento, 56 in San Francisco. Look at Los Angeles already in the low 70s. So it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. So air quality will remain moderate with an AQI of 95. And tonight you're looking at mostly clear skies here on the valley floor. Temperatures in the upper 30s and also climbing up to mid 40s in some locations. And tomorrow is going to be mostly sunny and really nice. Up in the mountains in the current River Valley, you're looking at 62 for Wolfram Heights, 58 in Fraser Park. And those overnight lows will remain in the 30s. And out in the desert, you're looking at 62 for California City, 61 out in Mojave with increasing clouds breezy conditions. So here's a look at that 70 forecast for you and we're going to enjoy a really nice Friday but then look at what happens on Saturday a completely different picture. We'll be back in the low 50s. We got 10% chance of showers and then Super Bowl Sunday looking nice in the upper 50s and uh, by Friday to hatch we looking really nice breezy conditions light showers by the weekend and Valentine's Day looking very cold in the upper 30s. Guys back to you.